Hey everyone, um, today I wanted to show you a tool I made in Houdini um, to transfer attributes from your geometry directly to Vellum's rest length attribute. Uh, super simple, super easy to set up, but it's tedious if you have to keep doing it over and over again. So I built this tool just to quickly set this up. Um, and it, it tells you what to do, but basically you just need a, a geometry with an attribute. Um, in this case, it's an attribute noise and it can be animated, um, which is one of the huge benefits of uh, doing it this way, transferring the attribute directly in the solver. Um, so you can animate this instead of just having a static uh, attribute for rest link coming in on the first frame of the simulation. So that's one of the advantages of this. Um, so we have a float attribute uh, called driver2 and you can see it's an animated noise and what we have is just a, a vellum cloth sim that we're running and then we are transferring the attribute into the fourth input. Um, and then if we click the uh, HDA, you can see that uh, we see the, the rest length being affected by this attribute and we see the attribute um, moving along the geometry and affecting it uh, just like it should. Um, the, the, and all, all of this is just default vellum stuff. So, um, if we jump in, we can add any vellum, uh, nodes that we might want to, and also change any of the settings on any of these nodes and it's not going to break anything. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to mention was that uh, if you change the attribute, so let's call this inflate instead, you can see our visualization is gone. Um, it uh, It is uh, going to need the new name in this uh, box here. So let's add inflate instead of driver. And then if we go to the info tab, we can see that uh, we now have an inflate attribute, point attribute here. And if we click on it, we'll get our visualization back and it will work again. Um, so new name uh, for our attribute um, and it is reading it in the same way and being transferred just fine. So um, yeah, it's just a convenient way to quickly set up these uh, rest length animations. And again, it's super simple. Um, there's not much to it, but, and you'll, you'll probably need to go in and make, make adjustments and things, but as a starting point, uh, for me, it's useful. So I hope it's useful for you as well when you're uh, making these setups and, uh, yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.